What's up, y'all? Uh, I'm going to show some people how to make black bars. It is pretty simple, but everyone has to learn. And sometimes it's not obvious, uh, especially to people who are new to editing. So first, you just get your adjustment clip. Make it however long you want or the size of your clip. And you open that infusion. And next, you get a merge. And then you get a background note, either from your toolbar or you can search it up and just type in background and get it there, like that. So next is you get a rectangle mask and connect it to your background and press invert. Make the width all the way. Um, I sometimes like to put it on a high number just to make it safe. Make sure it's all the way. And sometimes I don't animate the bars, and other times I do. So sometimes I like to have my bars not too high. Sometimes I like to have them up a little bit. So we can have something like that. And. You can go to the end, keyframe the height, go back to the beginning, and keyframe them to be down. And you should have something like this. Oh, if it'll play. Yeah. So now the only thing you do is adjust your spawn to how you want it. So maybe a graph like this. And to show you what comes after that. Uh, if you like, you can copy the same clip, but you may have to remake it just to be safe. Um, so if we copy that clip and we just tweak it, and we go to the end, I'll keyframe that, oh. or actually we can leave that keyframe on keyframe in the beginning frame that like that and at the end you can make it like that uh, and now it'll be the same height but now essentially we're just making the same graph but this time it's going outwards And you can also, when making the bars come in, you can also keyframe the angle. But that's something uh, you can do if you like. Something like that. So just keyframe the angle if you want to do something with some rotation. Something like this. Alright, yeah. 